understanding about Hotel Financial Controller. What is the Hotel Financial Controller or FC job description? The controller reports generally to the general manager and functionally to the chief financial officer. This is to ensure compliance with established hotel accounting and control procedures as set forth in the accounting manual and related publications. The controller's appointment and compensation is established by the general manager, with the consultation and concurrence of the chief financial officer. Termination of the controller's employment can only be effected after confirmation by the chief financial officer. As a department head of the hotel, the controller and all his accounting personnel must comply with the rules and regulations established by the general manager, including working hours, employee discipline, and the use of hotel facilities. The controller is responsible to the general manager for the selection and employment of all accounting personnel. He she is responsible for recommending salary increases for accounting department employees only approval by the general manager is required before they become effective. For this purpose the controller working in close collaboration with the hotel personnel manager, and with the various approvals needed by the general manager. The accounting department is defined as follows and includes, 1 all accounting office personnel 2 all restaurant and front office cashiers 3 the food and beverage controller and his assistant 4 all receiving storeroom and issuing personnel 5 the credit manager and assistant 6 the edp manager and assistant to meet his responsibilities to the chief financial officer, the controller is responsible for the maintenance of a system of accounts and controls which will provide the data necessary for all required accounting reports and statements, and at the same time, provide and maintain an effective control of the assets of the hotel. If the controller feels that there is a serious difference of opinion between himself and the general manager, he should refer the matter to the chief financial officer. It is also possible that the general manager may feel that the controller is carrying out his functional responsibilities to the chief financial officer in some cases in a manner that is not consistent with his administrative responsibilities to the hotel, in which case the general manager should write to the board of directors with copies to the chief financial officer. There are basic responsibilities for controllers such maintaining of the accounting records. The maintenance of all ledgers, journals, and other accounting records of the hotel to comply with orders or regulations issued by local government agencies and as prescribed in the company accounting manual. The continuous audit of all accounts, records and transactions of the hotel. The maintenance of records of authorized appropriations and the determination that all sums committed and expended are properly authorized and accounted for. The maintenance of all subsidiary records in connection with inventories, fixed assets and others. Compilation of financial statements and reports. The preparation and interpretation of the financial statements and reports of the hotel. Planning and budgetary control. The compilation, in conjunction with the general manager and department heads, of all budgets and forecasts covering all activities of the hotel and the maintenance of all budget control procedures. Safeguarding assets of the hotel such the safekeeping of all contracts, leases and other legal and financial records. The taking of monthly physical inventories of food, beverages, semi and monthly, materials, supplies and quarterly physical inventories of China were, glass, linen and silver and administration of hotel insurance functions. Administration of banking arrangements including drawing down overdrafts and placing funds in time deposits. 
the administration of credit and collection policies and procedures that have been established by the general manager with the concurrence of the company. Effective control of costs for achieving desired quality and standard of hotel operation. Tax and secretarial functions responsibility for obtaining government approvals for foreign exchange, import licenses and customs clearances and others. Maintenance of corporate records such as director's minutes, by laws and official registration. There are some specific duties. Some of the more basic work expected from the controller. It is by no means an exhaustive job specification, and the controller is always expected to examine his initiative under varying circumstances, such approving all disbursement vouchers submitted to the general manager for payment. In this connection he must ascertain that all necessary documents are attached that they are duly processed and approved by those certifying receipt of the merchandise or services, their quality, quantity, and price, verifies the funds for such disbursements, cancels, or causes to be cancelled, all documents attached to each voucher paid, scrutinizes monthly lists of vouchers payable investigates overdue open balances, and verifies the correctness of old balances cleared during the previous month, ascertains that all taxes, contributions, and licenses are paid when due, ascertains that interest and amortization of debts are paid when due, Verifies the correctness of sales or profits on which concessionaires base their rental computations. Examines and approves daily reports, food, and beverage weekly reports, and other periodical operating and financial reports to management. Prepares the monthly report on capital expenditure authorizations to be submitted to the head office prepares or supervises the preparation of monthly closing journal entries and balance sheet and profit and loss schedules, scrutinizes the monthly financial report, investigates unusual variations and prepares comments to be attached to the report, verifies that prepaid expenses, deferred charges, and depreciation schedules are up to date and in agreement with the books. Helps the general manager in the preparation of capital expenditure authorizations to be submitted to the head office. Assists the general manager in the preparation of monthly and yearly forecasts and budgets. Assists management in the preparation of other reports of studies that the general manager requests. Provides the general manager with accounting date requested for negotiation of union contracts. Receives daily the duplicate receipts of bank deposits, direct from the messenger taking money to the bank, and verifies them against the general cashier's summary of receipts ascertains that the receipts of each day are deposited on the next succeeding banking day, examines the daily report of cashiers' overages and shortages, watches the adequacy of bank balances and reports in writing anticipated cash deficiencies to the general manager. Prepares checks in detail the monthly bank reconciliation opens and closes bank accounts only upon the prior approval of the board of directors, reviews monthly list of city ledger accounts together with accounts receivable supervisor and credit manager, prepares report to general manager indicating trend of balances, accounts requiring special action, accounts turned over to collecting agencies those recommended to be written off and others, brings to the attention of the general manager any deficiency in other departments that may impair the collecting efforts, 
satisfies himself that the monthly computations of inventories are correct and the totals are in agreement with the controls. Oh, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope the previous information will make you more deeply understanding about hotel financial controller jobs, and see you again in another video at Hotelier Channel. Thanks and bye.